Welcome to the Superfast Touch Designer tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a galaxy made of rocks using the copy pop and a couple of very simple techniques. Remember, we're working with the 2025 version of Touch Designer, which includes the new pop operator family. With that said, let's do a quick review of what we'll cover. Chapter one, overview. Let's take a look at how this network is structured. The first section of the network is where I built the logic that forms this galactic shape. Basically, I relied on a twist, a line, and a noise to achieve it. In this case, we're skipping the math behind it. The next section contains the rendering setup, which we'll also explore in detail later. It's worth mentioning that using a few lights with soft shadows really helps to achieve higher contrast and depth in the final render. Finally, I used a Luma Blur for the defocus effect and to generate text elements based on the brightness or motion of the video. For this, I applied a plugin called the Glyphor, which you can find on my Patreon. All right, with that overview done, let's jump into the actual tutorial. A quick pause. If we haven't met yet, I'm Okamirufu, and my life's purpose is to create, inspire, and educate through my work as a creative technologist focused on touch designer. I'm jumping in just for a moment to let you know that I've built a growing community on school, where you'll find beginner and intermediate courses, exclusive tutorials, and a library of downloadable project files, including special bundles you won't find anywhere else. But more than that, it's an active, thriving space. For example, in one of the exclusive tutorials I uploaded recently, there are already tons of people interacting, sharing project files, asking questions, and helping each other. It goes far beyond a traditional academic setting. I've put a lot of energy into making it practical, efficient, and fun. And the best part? This space is slowly integrating all the value I've already built on Patreon, all in one place for the same price. I truly hope to see you there, sharing knowledge, experimenting together, and asking the questions that help us all grow. I'll leave all the links in the description. Chapter two, network. We'll start by creating a point generator, selecting the line shape. About 100,000 particles is enough for this project. Next, connect a noise. And use very low values, a period of 0.09. And, even more importantly, an amplitude of only 0.001. Later, when you start changing these values, you'll see why we're keeping them so subtle. After that, connect a twist and use the following parameters. Choose Bend as Operations and select X and Y coordinates. Then, adjust the pivot to 1.5 on the X axis. We're going to exaggerate the twist, using values as high as 1,800. Perfect. At this point, you should have a kind of disk formed from the point generator and the deformations we've applied. To continue, let's add another noise. Use a period of two, harmonics of five a harmonic spread of 1.5, and keep the harmonic gain at 0.8, with an amplitude of 0.1. Animate the translate parameter using absolute time.seconds in this section. Once you have this wavy disk slowly oscillating, as you can see here, we're already quite close to finishing. Now, let's add a few details. First, connect a random operator. Set parameter and random size to three. All the value at coordinate, keep it in zero and change all B values to 360. We basically want to generate random values for particle rotation. Rename the output of this random operator as ROT with a capital R. That's the default name that the copy pop uses for rotation, so it'll make things easier. Perfect. Now, create a box. Place it above this section and set its size to 0.03. For now, you can experiment with other sizes later. Connect this box to a copy pop. 
and into the second input, connect the network we've been building. Then go to the Template tab and enable Template Rotate. You'll instantly see that we've applied random rotations to each box instance, representing a particle. At this stage, the rest is about building an interesting render and applying some post-processing chains to enhance the look. To do this, connect a Geo component and create a PBR material, which you'll reference inside the Geo component. Then add a camera and two lights. And finish with a render operator so we can see everything. Change the render resolution to whatever you like. I'll use 720 by 1280. Since I'm working vertically on this project, set the render background color to black. Now that we can see something, let's adjust the PBR material to improve visibility. Select it and lower the metallic pass to zero. Try positioning the camera at an interesting angle. Take your time with this step before moving on. Next, select both lights, keep them as point lights, and increase the dimmer to around 2.5. You can also enable soft shadows. Play with the light positions until you find a more dynamic contrast. I like spending some time here, finding two key spots where light and shadow interact nicely to create depth. Perfect. Now that this is ready, connect a Luma Blur. And below it, create a ramp. Set the ramp resolution to match the render 720 by 1280. And connect it to the second input of the Luma Blur. You can move the right key point of the ramp toward the center to get a gradient where both sides are black and the middle is white. Now it's just a matter of deciding how much blur you want based on this ramp. I'll use a value of 10 in the black filter of the Luma Blur. But feel free to experiment. To finish, I'll paste my custom plugin called the Glypher, which lets you create text or ASCII symbol instances over any image or video using the plugin parameters. In this case, I used a fairly low tile density to keep fewer text elements in the video. I also connected the Plexus effect to draw lines linking each text instant. If you want to learn more about this plugin, you can find it on my Patreon. I hope you've successfully completed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.